Hey guys, Melvin here. Welcome back for another edition of the Daily Shave. Today we're going to be shaving with Mammoth Soaps Sonder from the um, East Coast Expo. Scent is ridiculous. We'll get into that in a second. We're going to be using the Rex today and a um, Gillette Platinum Blade also the matching aftershave and today for the brush I'm going to be using an oldie which is the Declaration Franklin number 15 I don't use it too often but it is a mammoth brush Okay, so let's uh, get into this, uh, start loading. Uh, first of all, the scent is described as citrusy with grass, um, white floral notes with a soft sandalwood uh, base. It is quite a hard I mean, I could dig my finger into it if I dig if I press hard enough, but um, for the most part, it's a pretty hard puck. Off the bat, let me start lathering this up. Squeeze out uh, the excess from the brush because this brush holds quite a bit of water. And get loading. Um. I get citrus right off the bat. Um, I get the floral notes and I get the sandalwood. It's a great scent, that's for sure. This this scent is uh, very unique. Um, I'm gonna say scent strength on this is a six or seven. Um, a very, very nice scent. Absolutely. Um, I was very fortunate uh, to pick this up at the expo. Um, I believe uh, you can pick one up at uh, West Coast Shaving. As they sell Mammoth uh, soaps exclusively. I'm only probably going to do a two pass shave today only because as you can see I don't really have too much growth um, and I still load a lot because this is a really really big brush it's supposed to be 30 millimeter it's closer to 32 that should be plenty do a little water on the face And take the rest off the puck. This is um Mammoth Soaps. Wow, I think this is their fifth, the fifth soap. Um, first was Higgy, Funny Valentine, Almond. Moon in the glow, and um, yeah, uh, funny Valentine, Higgy, Moon in the glow, almond leather, and now um, Saunders. And I have to admit, every single soap that I got from Mammoth Soaps, I like them all. Been great soaps. I always wash off the puck, hang it upside down on my medicine cabinet. Just until the excess water drains out of it, then I turn it right side up and let it dry until tomorrow morning. Oh yeah. Very, very nice scent. Not overpowering and not underpowering. It is just right.
for those of you that have tried mammoth soaps they performed very very well um, you would never have any trouble with mammoth soap performance everything is there the slickness the cushion Don't be afraid to add water. You could take a generous amount of water. And as you can see, it doesn't really take much time at all to build a very, very, very nice lava. But you build a lava to where you feel comfortable. You know, different guys like their lathers a different way. Sometimes I get in my moods where I just, you know, lather quick and sometimes I play with it and I build it up to as far as I can push it, you know. That's great. Look at that. Comb it up so this way you get the hairs to um, stick up because your first pass is going to go with the grain. I hate when I get lather in my nose. I'm not shaving in my nose, that's tomorrow's episode. But that is more than enough lather and you can build it up even more than that if you so chose to. But for me today, this is great. Look at that. More than enough lather to you could probably shave your neighbor after this too. I watched so many guys shave. Now I'm getting into the habit of cleaning up a little bit myself after, before I uh, actually throw the blade on, you know? I don't know if I'm as anal as a lot of the other guys, but Nice to clean it up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Perfect. Still got it in my damn nose. So now this is my um, second use of the Rex razor, which you can also pick up at uh, West Coast Shaving. I'm not too sure if they have it in stock right now, but um. My first shave with this razor was incredible, and I'm pretty sure this is going to be exactly the same. This is a real, um, a real finely crafted precision razor. I mean, it's 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 um I haven't seen a bad review of it yet. Um, and this is the third generation, the the one marked O. So this is 2019. And I guess we'll get started here. I have it on level three. Very efficient razor indeed. It is a little pricey. Um, I believe West Coast Shaving sells it for $200. But, you know, you're buying a razor I don't know maybe don't think about it as a razor think about it as an investment something that's going to last you for years and years and years to come this this type of razor will last will probably outgrow you and again it's meant it's an adjustable razor so 
whether you have really fine hair or a really coarse beard, it should suit everybody's needs actually. Definitely not hard to find the angle. Find the angle right away. Definitely one raise I'm very, very happy I purchased. That's for sure. First pass went very well. Then you can you could pick up a lot of the residual slickness from the soap. So, you know what? You could probably shave just with the slickness alone with Mammoth. Um Again, the soap is very, very, very good. And you can still smell the, um, the soap, even after I'm rinsing it. And let's say, for example, you were one of the people that were only able to grab the soap because they uh, West Coast Shaving sells it in three ways. They sell it as, as a set. They sell the soap by itself and the splash by itself. If you're only able to get the soap by itself, don't feel bad. The post shave on this soap is incredible. And because of the fact that it's a citrusy forward scent, you could probably pair this with a lot of different things. You could, you could pair it with um, with fine citrus. This would be a great pairing for, I mean, it's not exact, but again, it's in the same, it's in the same ballpark. It's a citrusy scent. Um, I believe you could pick, pick up that at West Coast Shaving as well. And uh, it'll go fine with, um, with Saunders. I'm just, you know, saying if you only manage to pick up the soap, you know, don't, don't, uh, don't think about it too much, you know? Soap has a great sheen to it. I don't know if you can catch that off the light. Incredible sheen. Great post shave. All right, here we go. Pass at number two. I was only gonna do two passes, but I'm having so much fun. Razor gives you great, great feedback as well. I don't know if you guys could hear that. And this is on level three. I could have probably got away with putting it on level one. Very, very efficient razor for sure. Um, this is gonna be one that's staying with me in my den for years to come. This one, uh, you know, how we all buy razors and uh, you know, you test it out and it doesn't suit you, you know, but not this one. Very good razor. You know, for all of you guys that, that get discouraged about picking up soaps, 
let's say it's a mammoth soap or a Talbot soap. I'm going to give you guys a couple of hints. I mean, most of you guys probably know this stuff already, but some of you don't. Now, when you're going for a drop like 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 Mammoth or Talbot or something that's that they're only making a real, real, real limited supply of, Great, great second pass. Log on to the website. You guys should all know this. You should be logged on to the website at the time of the drop. You should be logged on. You should have an account already created with your shipping address in there, your billing information in there. Don't think that you're going to log on, you know, to, 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 you know, let's say, let's say hypothetically, I don't know numbers. You know, but let's say, for example, they're doing a drop of a soap and it's a hundred soaps. You know, there's 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 a lot of guys in this work shaving hobby that that are gonna try to jump on that. So you gotta have every tiny little edge you can. You wanna be logged on to the website. You wanna be have all your information, your address, billing information, so on and so forth. So and don't. Put that in your cart and go shopping. This is not shopping time. This is add to, when, when you see it come up, you're gonna keep refreshing the page. When you see it come up, add to cart, check out. Done, bye, see ya. This is not a stroll through the park town, you know? Oh, I, you know, I hear a lot of guys, you know, they get upset. Um, yeah, I had it in my cart and by the time I finished shopping, it showed out, you know, because you took, 50 minutes to decide, you know, what you want next. Can't do it like that. Listen, I was, I I had my problems too. I've never been able to get every single soap that I've ever wanted. When Buffalohead used to drop soaps, I never got a soap. I've never, ever, ever, ever got a Buffalohead soap brand new from their site. So, you know, Again, I'm just giving you guys little, little tips. I would have loved if somebody would have gave me little tips when I first started out. And this is just a uh, past three. Just gonna clean up my neck a little bit. I'm really happy with the rest of the shave. Got a little, little bleeding, a little irritation right here. Pressing on the, the Pressing on the razor a little too much. Another thing with these razors, they're so precise, you don't need to um, you don't need to press on down on the, the razor. You actually, just let the razor do the work. Ninety percent of the time, when you get these weepers on your neck or anywhere on your face, it's not a um, a hardware issue, it's you. You know, you're pressing too hard, or you, you went at a wrong angle, or something like that, you know? And yes, every razor is different. Even if you get to razors, hypothetically speaking, right? Even if you get to razors, and let's say, let's say the manufacturer said that both razors have a blade gap of 68. I'm just saying for the sake of the discussion, right? Both razors have a blade gap of 68. Yes, that may be true. But the angle that that 68 blade gap comes at, one might be 
at a real steep angle like this and dig into your skin. The other one might be a little bit more easy and then, you know, so on and so forth. So just because you have two razors and, and you know, you say to yourself, well, I'm going to buy this razor because this razor says it has a 32 blade gap. And, you know, I've tried 68 blade gap razors and they're too aggressive for me. Can't really, you can't really go by that. I'll give you another example on the McCaw 34C. If I'm not mistaken, the blade gap on that is 94. But it's one of the best razors out there because the, the blade angle is not so pitched. You know, um, just little tips and tricks, you know. A pretty good shave. And I can still smell the soap on me and the, the post on Mammoth Soaps is just ridiculous. Ridiculous. So like I said, if you if you find yourself that you couldn't get the aftershave, don't get upset. Just enjoy it for what you got. You know what I mean? Look, and this this soap just keeps going. You're gonna get a great shave from Mammoth Soaps. You can see the peaks on this. Great soap. And like I shared with you guys at the beginning, you can you can really, really whip this up really crazy if you wanted to. You can go as crazy as you want with this. Give me one second, let me just rinse my face. So you know you have great residual slickness on your face when you have to rinse your face three times and you can still you can still feel the slickness on your face that's what you want that's what you look for in a soap not when you as you're shaving and you go like this and you can pull your skin all the way up you have zero slickness on your face you want you know, you want to keep rinsing your face and still feel a little slickness on your face. You know? It's a sign of a really, really good soap. In my humble opinion. But, in this case, since I was lucky enough to pick up this soap at the, uh, the expo in New York City, and uh, Mammoth was there, and West Coast Shaving was there, and a lot of other great and really, really incredible artisans were there. Talbot, Katie's Bubbles, Peter Turkalis from the club, um, slash A&E, uh, Holy Cow was there. It was just a great time. I was, I was fortunate enough to pre-order it, and I got the matching splash. And this is actually the first time I'm smelling it with you guys today. Shake it up. Always shake an aftershave. Whether you see sediments in it or not, always give an aftershave a, a, a really good um, shaking because some artisans use essential oils, some use uh, different oils and so on and so forth, different chemicals, and you want to make sure those chemicals are mixed properly. It has a nice uh, reducer. Mm. Oh yeah. Straight citrus, but a great citrus. Oh, this is good. You get the citrus up front, but you do get the notes in the back. Um, pull up more. So I'm getting uh, citrus forward right away. I can smell the florals. 
um, believe it or not, I can smell the, the sand, the wood, and the, uh, the grass. If you, if you take your time to really take it in, you can, you can, um, you can smell all the, uh, the different notes the, uh, the inventor was trying to do, and he pulled it off great. My opinion, Saunders is two thumbs up. Great soap, great scent, great performance. I couldn't be happier. Um, so to recap my shave for today, guys. Went with Saunders, Mammoth Soaps. Use the Rex, level three with a Gillette Platinum Blade. The matching aftershave. And I use the uh, Declaration Franklin number third, uh, number fifteen. Fifteen. I don't know what number things are anymore. Thank you guys for stopping by and joining me for another daily shave. And most of these products you can all find at West Coast Shaving. And um, happy shaving, guys! Thanks for joining me. Have a great day. Bye bye.